Now we are basically ready to install the motherboard, but the motherboard says that it wants the CPU to be installed first. So here comes the heart of the build. We're gonna take the Core i7 7700K and install it into the motherboard and put on this humongous motherboard or CPU cooling block that they provide with the motherboard. So um, yeah, that'll be the next step. We've been trying to install the CPU cooler and this back plate. Now the instructions are pretty terrible. They only show a picture from the front side of the motherboard, but not one from the back side, meaning this one is kind of hard to guess which way it goes. At the same time, the monoblock is super heavy, so you can't, you don't have anything to guide it and hold it in place while you screw the back plate in. That's a little bit annoying. And I've been cursing a little bit. But anyway, my brother and I, we are now going to flip this back plate because we have these tiny small screws here holding the monoblock in place. And we should be able to, uh, to install it the correct direction without having made too much of a problem. So it is now 7.30 in the evening and my brother and I, we decided to take a small break from over there. Now we're gonna just sit down, watch a movie and then continue with the build. And we'll probably go all night because we figured maybe we can make it to actually finish it once and for all. Look at this mess here. Um, so now we're gonna get started building again. Yeah, it's gonna be one very long night. And I think one of the first things we should probably focus on is uh, getting this place cleaned up a little bit because it's kind of messy. Um, so yeah, we'll return. All right, that looks a bit better. Now it's about time to install the RAM and the M.2 drive that we're gonna use in this computer. And my brother has the confidence to do it himself. So uh, let's see how that goes. What we need to do now is to take the 1080 Ti and then get the water plug on it. The computer is pretty much ready to accept the graphic card, the pump and the water system. Everything else is basically ready. We did have some kind of problems though because we didn't have a way to mount the pump in a kind of nice way. So what we decided to do is to make up this makeshift plateau thing right here. It's not pretty, I mean, but it'll work. It's, it, it's, it's a temporary solution. but. As long as it works and we can uh, elevate the pump up to the height we want to make it uh, a nice display piece inside the case, um, that should work out fine. 
So I guess now we are going to fit in this monstrosity thing into the case. When that's done, we'll fit in the pump, then we'll fit in the graphics card, and when that's done, it's time to get tubing. So we've been consulting for a long time about uh, what to do because actually it turns out that we do need some extra fittings if we want to fit in a draining system. We could go without a draining system and it's not an ideal solution at all. But if we want to see this computer running anytime soon, that might be what we have to do. It's currently... 2.30 at night, we've been working at it for <laughs> 12 hours. Um, so, actually we tried to uh, to do the first bend. We've never done this before. First one, kind of a fail. Uh, second one, though, turned out real nice, in my opinion. <laughs> We also have uh, solved going from this radiator to the reservoir uh, by using uh, some fittings um, with these 45 degree bends. But the problem is that this one right here that we thought might have a connection for one of the hardline tubes, it, it doesn't. <laughs> so keep that in mind, buy loads of, uh, of compression fittings because you might need them, especially if you want to, like we had this solution where we wanted to make a Q and then, uh, sorry, Y? Y connection? A Y connection. And then have this plug on and then we had a soft tube plug that we could then screw into it so that we could drain the system. However, that's not going to be possible right now. So we are going to try to make one of the long bends now because Depending on how much we mess up these bends, we might need more tube. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see. By the way, we are cutting into a uh, GTX uh, 1080 Ti box. This bend right here we actually don't mm, care too much about because that will be the one to be replaced when we get the draining system put in. So, this is gonna be the last update of the day. It is now almost six o'clock in the morning and we are pretty tired. I wish I could say that we were we would finish building this PC today because uh, actually we, we did make it quite far. However, we ran into some problems. But take a look at this, because I mean, that in my opinion, it's not too bad at all. I mean, we got 
basically everything installed. Reservoir, the radiators, the water cooling, all the piping is done. But we did have a minor problem up here. If you look here, you can see there's no fitting. That's because the fitting is right here. The threads were ripped, so I had to use a plier to actually get it out. Now that sucks, but otherwise everything is uh, looking good. I think we can finish this one next time. So if you want to see that, you just have to stay tuned to the channel. Uh, I think it did kind of end out looking quite well without the power shroud and also with this piping here. It's it's all temporary because we do need to get a, uh, a drain plug installed somewhere along this line. But for now, I mean, not too bad, not too bad at all, if I'm to say so. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> only thing is, it sucks that we couldn't finish today, and it sucks that it's just one fitting, and we could have told people that we built a water cool PC in just one day. But I do not recommend anybody to do a full-on water-cooled PC with case modding and making your own stands and yeah, hardline tubing and all that stuff. Especially not when you're a newbie at it and it's your first time. It didn't end up working out quite well. We had three meters of, uh, of hardline tubing and we did end up using all of it, basically. Um, that was a few miss attempts. I think we have them somewhere here. Um, but anyway. We'll show you all that next time. Stay tuned and uh, take a look at how it's gonna look when it's all done, because it's gonna look pretty amazing, I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. We're gonna go get some sleep. Ugh, it's already morning, so. Anyway, have a good one.